The reason why you should learn to solve an equation with negative x on the left the whole way through is a second strategy is super useful and can make your math so much easier. Look at this. 21 minus x equals 45. This may give some of us a headache if we try the movement method to put the variable on the right so it becomes positive. Watch what happens if we do that. We get 21 minus 45 equals x. Now, this part might make some of us feel uncomfortable, especially if we're not very confident working with integers. But don't worry, because we have another strategy we can use to make life easy. Check this out. This time, we're going to move 21 over to the right and cluster our constants on the right. So we get negative x equals 45 minus 21. And when we evaluate that, and we can all handle this one, we get 24. Easy. Negative x equals 24. But we can't leave an answer with a negative variable. No negative x is allowed at the very end. Remember what to do? When we get to the end and have a negative variable, we take the inverse of both the variable and the constant. Positive x, or just x, equals negative 24. How about that? Isn't that easy? If you haven't already done it, make a note of it now. If you've got negative x after you've evaluated, just flip both signs and it's all good. Having two strategies in your math toolkit makes us stronger. You can choose how to solve your equation. For me, when I solve an equation, I prefer to get a positive constant when I do the evaluation step. I look at the equation first to decide how to proceed. If the final term is greater than the beginning term, then I gather my constants on the right, like we did earlier on. And if that means I get negative x at this step, well, that's not a problem. We know we flip both sides at the end. It's all good. And then again, if the first term is greater than the final term, then I'm going to gather the constants on the left and put the variable on the right. And at the end, of course, I always make sure to state my answer in the form x equals a number. I recommend that you rearrange your equation so that the math seems easier to you. That's what I always do. It will give you confidence that you can rearrange any equation to suit what's needed and the power to solve it in the way that's best for you. Because, as you've seen, you can do that. If you've seen all the videos in the playlist Algebra Simple Equations with addition and subtraction, you are now ready to rock. Go to it.